Well, hello there. Chances are, if you've stumbled across this video, you're curious about this machine right here, which is the Millermatic 255 Pulse Mint. Now, I wanted to do a one-year review on this machine because a lot of people I talked to were concerned about, oh, it's so fancy, it's got a computer board, and blah, 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 and, and it's an inverter basement. You know, I totally understand why people would be worried about that. I came, you know, as someone who ran a 252 for years and years, and I love that machine. Well, my work purchased one of these, and I'd ran it for about a year. This one's brand new. I purchased it for my home shop. Um, what can I say about this? This machine is basically a small version of the 350P. Uh, as far as welding in comparison to the 252, I love this machine so much. I'm not sponsored. Yeah, I got a flag. I got the welder. I got the jacket. But if you look here, I also have a Lincoln Electric flag because I run both machines quite a bit. So what can I say about this machine? Well, I have not ran a push-pull gun on it. So if you're curious about that, you'll have to find another video. I primarily ran 035 Hardwire and 045 Dual Shield, and it works great. I wouldn't have purchased this machine for my home shop because, you know, a nice welder is a big investment. I wouldn't have purchased it if it didn't work for me. Now, I do primarily structural repair for heavy equipment. So, I have welded on I've welded on D8 cats, I've welded on road graders, I've welded everything from 16 gauge all the way up to an inch and a half plate. And this machine really takes it. Um, personally, I've never hit the duty cycle on it, and so far I've been really happy. I'm going to change the camera here and I'll show you some of the different settings that are really handy. Now one of the big things is the auto set. I ran a Miller 212 auto set and I hated it. I thought the machine ran like crap. I didn't enjoy it whatsoever, but the auto settings on this are almost spot on. I only ever adjust the inches per minute. I almost never adjust the arc length and I very rarely adjust the voltage. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to go through the settings on this. So let's talk about the interface here for a minute. Now right here, this is this is the base setting. So you have your voltage on the left with this dial, you have your inches per minute on the right. Now the nice thing here is if you go to program, you can set four different programs for whatever you want for a setting. You know, if you want 18.4 and 202, hold program one, and right here. I already have the pre-settings in here for my gas type, and wire type. So the machine already knows that's what we're going to be running. So you can go through and you can set those programs individually. Now I don't normally use this feature because I really love the auto set on this machine. And to turn that on, we just come up here, press the auto set button. It's going to tell me what gas and everything I have currently set up or needed for in the machine. So as you can see, I got Mild steel, C10 gas, which is 90% argon, 10% CO2. And here, we can change it. Stainless steel, self-shielded, gas-shielded, silica bronze. Oh, I didn't know that. Aluminum. So there is our material settings. So we'll go ahead and we'll stay on mild steel C10. And it'll go through this again. And it, what's nice about that is it, it shows you the way the machine needs to be set up. Click this here for your wire size, whether it's 030, 035, or 045. We have 035 in the machine. And over here, you have your material thickness. Now on the regular auto set, it's all the way down to 22 gauge. And I believe it goes all the way up to half inch. And... Um, yeah, I've ran it across all these settings, and it, it works really good. It gives you a really solid baseline. And if you come up here, now we can have auto set and pulse on at the same time. So once again, you have your material and gas, your wire size, and your material thickness. Now this does change it a bit. It goes from 18 gauge, and I think it still does half inch. It does. So long story short, do I recommend this machine? Absolutely. Now, I have not tested it in a full production-style shop. You know, if you're welding structural steel all day, you're probably going to want the 350P. It's got a higher duty cycle than this. I believe it's 
sixty percent. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. I should have looked that up. But for what I do, which is primarily fabrication, I do obviously have to do a lot of welding. I've never hit the duty cycle. Um, you know, if you're if you're running it hard, the fan will kick on. And yeah, I mean, it's been a very good machine. If you're on the fence about it, I would say go ahead and get it. They have a good warranty. Miller makes a wonderful product. And um, yeah, so thanks for stopping in the video. I'd really appreciate it. If you'd like the video, you don't have to subscribe. I get it. People ask it all the time. But if this video has been helpful at all, at least give it a like. So thank you. And until next time.